Welcome to Programming Knowledge. Today I'm going to talk about analog output on Arduino. And in this video, we will know how to use analog write to output an analog signal. This function on Arduino common call is PWM, that is pulse width modulation. The application of analog write in this video is control speed of DC motor, control fade line of LED from high to low or low to high and the last one is control RGB LED color okay let's go in this video there are three devices that we use the first one is motor DCs the second is common LED and the last one is RGB LED and the longest pin of RGB LED is anode but Sometimes is cathode, but the common pins of RGB less is not. Okay, you can check by yourself. Okay, to use analog pins on Arduino, there are some pins are support for you to use analog output. That is 11, 10, 9, 6, 5, and 3. All of these pins has a tilde before it, and that's a uh, PWM pin. You only use analog right on the pins had a tilde before it okay and this is an analog right function on Arduino the analog right has two parameters uh, the first one is the analog pins that's the uh, PWM pins and the second is the value the value you will transfer is from 0 to 255 that's the 8 bits and corresponding with analog range from 0 to 1, 0 to 3 or uh, you can understand that is the voltage output from 0 to 5 voltage okay this is as I said in the reverse video okay so let's go with the first example this is the diagram to control DC motor okay first one I um, will use Arduino to control speed of DC motor but I will use the NPN transistor to support because the voltage of analog pins is quite weak so uh, it cannot control the motor so I will base on the transistor operation to control motor this is the NPN transistor you see there are three pins first is base collector and emitter Okay, when I supply voltage to the base pins, the collector will connect to emitter. You just understand like that. Okay, and right here I will control the MPN transistor via analog pins. And when I open it, the C will connect to A. That means the 5 voltage will supply for one pin of DC motor and the other pins will connect to GND. Okay, when you connect like that, the motor will run. And don't worry about two pins of DC motor because uh, if you change the position of two pins, like um, if you connect the emitter to red pins and the GND to black pins, it's still okay because if you change like that, uh, the motor will run the other side. Okay, let's check my circuit. Okay, now we'll connect my circuit like the diagram. I have a DC motor like this with two pins and four wire and one transistor. This is NBN transistor and this is C1815. You can find it on the website C1815. And my transistor has three pins. The from the left to right, the first one is E emitter. The mid center is C collector and the last one is base okay it's different with the diagram but it has three bits like this okay first we connect my transistor okay first one is collector I will connect to the 5 voltage Come collector is the mid pins to 5 voltage next a ground to the
motor okay ground to motor next it connect the emitter to motor the emitter is orange and the last one is green green for the signal I will connect to the pin 3 3 okay now we connect to base okay now I have some code right here I will call for you you will put the analog analog right in the setup function because we just want to uh, set up once bin 3 and, and we will put the 100 value 100 and you see the let's see the, 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 the speed of it okay now we can okay okay you can see it cannot run because it's the, the the signal is very weak when I support it yeah you see it's run slowly but now I will change to 255 this is a maximum value you see it's faster right okay And now I will control from slow to fast and from fast to low by using for loop. Okay? Disconnect it. I have a for loop for in K is zero. K. And analog right. K. And we'll copy it, but reverse it from 255 to greater than 0 and k plus plus k minus minus. But right here we'll minus 10, and this is plus 10 for faster. Okay, now we'll delay about 1 millisecond. 1 millisecond. Okay, I will comment this. Okay, let, let's see. Oh, I forgot. Faster, 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 slowly. Faster, faster, slow, and stop. Stop because the analog signal cannot uh, run the motor okay that's it the motor now I will make the other sample that is fading LED I will connect like the diagram okay uh, I have a 5 voltage to resistor and resistor to anode this is 330 ohm and the other pins of LED will connect to 3 the analog pin you can connect the analog pins to anode and the cathode to GND. Okay, there are two ways to connect the LED. Okay, now let's check the circuit. I have a 330 resistor, LED, and some wire. I will use red wire for 5 voltage. 5 voltage. 5 voltage to resistor to resistor to resistor and then connect to anode pin the cathode pin will be connected to analog right uh, analog pins Three, 
Okay. Now I will connect. And with the old code, we also make the LED fade. See, as you see, you see is light and fader, fader and lighter. Okay, with the old code like this. Okay, now the other application I will control LED. That's either RGB LED. Okay, before connect with the diagram, I will review the RGB LED pins. There are three, there are four pins of RGB LED. First is red, green, and blue. The longest I will use is anode. Okay, my LED is anode. Okay, this is the diagram. I will connect five voltage to the anode pins with the resistor 330 ohm. And three pins, three rest pins is connect to PWM pins. That is six, five, and three. Okay, let's connect it. Five on touch, and this is the RGP LED. I will connect it. I will connect the resistor to the anode pin. Like the diagram, okay. Connect to five voltage and three rest pin will be connect to PWM pin. You can connect. You can connect uh, like you want because it still make the LED is light. Don't worry. Just connect uh, like you want. Okay. Now I will try to run the old code. Let's see what happened. Yeah, the three PWM pins will turn on the LED with the blue light. Okay, now we'll code some code with analog. Analog right five with K. Analog right with six. Okay, now copy it to here and see what happened. Oh, it changed the color, right? It changed the color, but it's quite light. So I will change to from zero to two hundred and fifty and decrease this by one and one. Okay, let's see. Yes. Okay, you see you can control it by this way. Okay, this is the reason why I can control LED, RGB LED to um, watch color I want. If you know the color table of the RGB. Okay, thank you. This is a useful application you can do with analog write.